Welcome back guys to more WWE 2K14 talk but today we're not actually talking about actual news for the game itself we're going to be talking about my upcoming brand new edition of my universe mode so guys this video is going to be done in two parts in this first part we're going to be talking about and planning my first show which is going to be a ruthless aggression era raw but on part two we're going to be switching focus over to smackdown so stay tuned for that one but before we do get into it properly in case you're new to my channel or just haven't seen my previous universe mode i want to bring you guys up to speed so guys basically my universe mode isn't a standard universe mode which i'm sure a lot of you guys are used to seeing i mix universe mode in with story editor cutscenes and edit the matches as well to try and make it pretty much like something you would see on tv so we're talking full shows featuring matches cutscenes promos and generally featuring four matches usually and the show normally goes roughly about 30 minutes back on the 13 universe mode we didn't necessarily get too many natural cutscenes on that game so i had to add in quite a lot of ones myself i'm hoping this time around in 2k14 with all the new features and all the improvements we're going to be getting a lot more cutscenes naturally so i can actually let it play out a little bit but i'm going to be adding in my own cutscenes as well just for certain storylines and stuff like that hopefully you guys are going to be enjoying the mix of the two as i'm sure most of you know as well i also do something called viewers choices every single episode where it basically lets you guys shape the shows and decide all the important decisions and stuff like that but more on that as we go through the video like i mentioned before this year i'm going to be having two shows on my 2k14 universe mode i'm going to be having a ruthless aggression era raw and a current era smackdown and for the most part the storylines and champions are going to carry on for 13 when possible so raw is obviously going to be going from attitude era to ruthless aggression but it is going to be featuring some of the same superstars as before so you know there shouldn't be too much of an issue there and if you guys didn't see any of my 13 universe mode and don't quite know what exactly is going on in terms of champions and in terms of storylines then don't worry too much i'm going to be bringing everyone back up to speed when the first 2k14 universe mode episode hits but in the meantime if you want to i would recommend watching my previous universe mode episode which was the survivor series pay-per-view that will bring you pretty much up to speed so yeah feel free to go back and take a look at that one i'll link that guys for you in the description below so like i said raw is going to be ruthless aggression so think the rock stone cold retro brock lesnar Shawn michaels triple h goldberg nwo and so on and raw this year is going to be featuring four different championships so we've got the WWE title which is going to be the undisputed title design and that's currently held by Hollywood Rock. We're actually going to be switching the majority of the NWO members over from Smackdown to Raw including their respective championships. So we're also going to be having the Hardcore Championship currently held by The Big Show. We're going to be having the Tag Team Championships currently held by Kevin Nash and Scott Hall. We're also going to be moving over the Intercontinental Championship from Smackdown which was held by Curtis Axel but obviously guys he's not going to be in 2k14 so that championship is going to start off vacant just like i mentioned before we're going to be bringing back the viewers choices this year again so you guys are going to be having a major say in what things happen in this universe mode from matches to feuds you guys are pretty much going to decide it all and obviously i'm sure most of you guys kind of know how that works by now and that is exactly where we're going to be leading this video on the viewers choices for the debut episode of raw on my 2k14 universe mode so guys i've got three viewers choices for you on this one two are going to be for raw and then one is going to be for the first pay-per-view so viewers choice number one i mentioned before the intercontinental championship is going to be starting vacant so we need a match and participants for that match for the first raw so guys let me know what you want to see there viewers choice number two i know you guys like the hardcore matches and extreme matches and stuff like that so on the first raw the big show he is going to be def defending the hardcore championship against an opponent of your choosing so guys viewers choice number two we need an opponent for the big show 
and finally viewers choice number three this one isn't directly for raw but it's definitely going to be shaping it but i want you guys to decide the first pay-per-view of this universe mode can be anything apart from the big four so yeah guys let me know what pay-per-view you want to see first and yeah that should give you guys a pretty good insight into what you're going to be expecting to see on my 2k14 universe mode last year with the 13 universe mode got some really good feedback so hopefully guys we can top my 13 one this time around with wwe 2k14 but that was just the planning and ideas for raw remember raw is only one of two shows the second show is going to be smackdown so expect the video containing information and the viewers choices for the debut episode of smackdown coming in the next day or two so definitely stay tuned for that so guys if you're ready for my brand new season and brand new wwe 2k14 universe mode then leave the video a big thumbs up and don't forget to let me know your viewers choices in the comment section below expect the smackdown video up coming in the next day or so but until then this has been 101 and i will see you all on the next one